Greetings and salutations, Relaxed Gamer Nation. Welcome back to Automations Unleashed with me, Relaxed Gamer. Thank you for joining me. I am happy to see you guys here. Although I can't actually see you guys because you're behind me. And I just can't seem to continuously look behind me. It's, it's, it's really hard. I, I can't look behind me. Yeah. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> <laughs> so I have added another mod um, it's actually an add-on mod to uh, MES it's called MES expanded a universe mod uh, which introduces a few more factions like Wayland, Yutani, Merc uh, a few other anti-player mods because we have all these turrets, and we don't get to fire them much. And where is everything? There were things up in the air earlier. Oh, probably because I put that new mod in. It's uh, It got rid of my uh, spawns, I'm thinking. Yeah, I think it actually got rid of my salvage, too. Oh, that might have been a... Oh, hold on, here we go. There we go. <laughs> I had show signals off. <laughs> Of course I did. Yes. Oh, welcome back. Um, we have a whole bunch of stuff to do today. Um, mainly, I want to get our, our living quarters started up here. And I got a lovely, nice little subtle green color to denote my new stuff. Yeah. Still plastic. Because I like that. Uh, the first thing I want to do, however, is I want to... I put in some timers right under here. And I want to add the timers so that when I push this button, it closes all these doors. Um, and... Man, and I guess I gotta manually open them afterwards. Though I could put a sensor in here. Thought I was going to put a sensor in here. Eh, that might be a little difficult just the way I have this set up. I might have to bring this down a bit more to get space in there for a uh, sensor. Then once sensor is done it will do stuff okay so let's start naming some doors here uh, elevator bottom exterior top door remember folks always name things because if you don't you get into situations like this where you have to name them after the vac. Interior. Bottom. Door. Door. There we go. Okay, that's good. This will allow me to actually put a sensor in. Uh, somewhere. I'm not entirely sure how that's going to work. Um... The sensor takes up a block of space. Yeah, I'd want the sensor on the the body here so that it detects this subgrid. And then when that comes down to this point, it will open up these doors. And when it gets up to that point, it'll open up those doors. Um, that's the idea, anyway. So, uh, let's send you down. Hopefully it doesn't explode on the way down. Awesome. And we'll put the sensor on this side. Uh, 
And where is my sensor? It is under programming blocks, right? And we'll go to my subtle, subtle lime green color. Those arrows are really hard to learn here. There we go. Like that. That's up. Okay. And we will send this up. If I put it here, it should not interfere. Theoretically. There goes my arrows. There it is. Fuel low. Oh no. No, no, no. Oh, bad place. Fuel critical. Well, we'll see if the sensor actually gets into interferes. Should be fine. Yeah, it's fine. I gotta go fill up my... And then this button here will trigger a timer. I think I need another timer. This button will trigger a timer that closes all the doors. That's the idea, anyway. Let's go get my bottles topped up. Don't need those, don't need those, don't need those, okay. Bottle. Bartholomew, please remember to fill up my bottles. Good, good. Giggity. Yeah, sensor is triggering, which is fine because I want the sensor to. Oh, oops. <laughs> sensor is in a different location. It is uh, under here. We might as well put down another timer block because we're going to need it. Yeah, I'll just put down two. I'm not too concerned. Okay. Let us turn show on HUD, turn sensors, field range on. Now, this is sensor. Um, sensor. Sorry. Elevator. Elevator. Sensor. Sensor. Top. Yes. And I do not want to detect players. I want it to detect subgrids. Okay, so let us no, no. Actually, we can do that. Wish I could change the proximity alert and sound. I uh, don't care. Detect friendly, detect owner, sure. Detect subgrids on. That's what I want. Uh, left is left. Oh, wait, no, it's that side of left. This side is right because the sensor is facing uh, this way. Um, 2.5, 2.5, bottom extent. Bring that up. Top extent 2.5. Front extent, kill that, and back extent five. That should be good. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, maybe I think I need to drop it a foot or a meter. 
meters or four, a foot? A meter. So, four meters. So once it detects this upgrade, it will open up the doors. Okay. And that one is... Okay, I have to put that on a timer. It's fine. So it will activate a sensor that opens the door once it gets up there. Okay. So let us go into here. This will be a TB elevator upper doors. In seconds, that might be too much, but we'll test it out. Setup actions. Elevator. Elevator. Top door. Open. Top exterior door. Open. And that should be it for that. Okay. Let's go over here. Put them not in the right position. Dang it. We'll fix. Do, do, do. This will be TB elevator, elevator, bottom doors. Bottom, open doors, right, right. Set up actions, elevator, bottom exterior, open. Interior bottom open. Okay. Now this one. The timer block. Um elevator. Close doors. Simple enough. And I actually want this to be a trigger. Elevator. Close. Close. Close and close. And this is just a spare. Upper doors. Upper open doors. I think that's how I have it spelled. Oh, no, TB, TB. Elevator closed doors, elevator bottom open, elevator upper, elevator top open doors. Thankfully, I just have uh, uh, one elevator that does two floors maximum, so it's not too complicated. What? Up in here. I must have taken that out for some reason. That's fine. That's fine. Those doors. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I need to change this button. I need to change that around. Okay. So, TB, elevator... Those doors. Mm, elevator move, I guess. Sure. Setup actions. We go into our groups. Where is our pistons? Elevator pistons. 
reverse. So it closes all the doors and then reverses. So now, if I set that up here, set up the timer block. Elevator, elevator. Elevator move. Yeah, trigger now. So. Doors close. Awesome. And now we gotta set up the sensor. I guess I can just set this up. Oh, there me. Close the doors, it goes up, and theoretically this should... Not work. Oh, because I don't have the sensors, the sensor. Set up to launch the timer. Set up action. TB. Later top open doors. Um, start. And this is the elevator sensor button. Do that, 2.5, back extent down, front extent four. Set up actions, Sammer block, elevator, bottom open doors, start. Doors close. Okay, the sensor did not work. Ah, because the sensor isn't hooked up right. Right. Uh, no players. Proximity is fine. Subgrids. This work. Doors did open. Now yeah, it doesn't open too soon. It's not in the sensor range. Oh, wait. Okay, it did get into the sensor range. I think I need to change the sensor range slightly. Bottom. Uh, top four. And we need to change the timer block. Elevator. So it's easier to find. Bottom, open doors. 
So three. Okay. Now, is this fast enough? Or too slow? Now we ride the elevator a few more times. I gotta put that glass back on. I think that's screwing a few things up. That's perfect. Now let's see if two is just as perfect. Or if three was perfect enough. Two works. I think. It did set up to two, right? Bottom open doors. Two. Okay, that works. Awesome. Okay, the elevator's done. <laughs> it's got its sensors all set up. Awesome. So if I push this button, it's gonna close the doors. Trigger that sensor, then when it gets up here, it will I think I need to put a little more delay on that. Oops. TB top open doors. Five. Five point five. And I need to change this round. Elevator move. Elevator move. There you go. Rigger now. Oops. Nice. I could put a sound block on. So we're not going to do the proximity alert. That's all uh, the rest of the fiddle and farting around I'm gonna do with that part of the elevator. Uh, I gotta get these on. These windows back on. Because I think I took them off for a reason and I'm not entirely sure why, but I did, so. Hopefully that would screw something up. Could have. <laughs> and would I be surprised? No, I would not. Window. One by two. There you are. Two there. And we 
got to put our three by three back in here. Wait, is there a reason? Oh, uh, I think I know. Yeah, there was a reason. So that I could do this. Do I want to do that? Oh, wait, that's what I was doing. Oh, yeah. I was actually drilling out a whole bunch of stuff up to the episode. Get, like, this area prepared. That's why I deleted that, so that I could fit in the the pistons in order, to, in order to do that. Well, there you go. That's what I did. Five. This was one of my cross braces. Man, that sun goes down fast. Or maybe because I was dicking around over here. Probably. That's probably it. <laughs> What did I do here? I was doing this. So I was going to carry that along over here. Uh, by the looks of it. Where the heck did I put that block? It's over here. bit of a cross brace there yeah, so I'm working in this green I will probably change the cutter color later so don't you worry there it's mainly for my sanity That's the problem with these big projects is, okay, so you have this wide open area that you can play around with. In fact, I think I'm going to be digging out this even more. So I'll need more pistons, probably. Pistons and ejectors and stuff like that. I think I was going to connect this to the system. Be a bit. Oh, no, those are vents. Okay. Those are my depressurization vents. Okay, 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 okay. I gotcha, I gotcha. So let's get rid of this. Let's put in a junction. Put in another one of these. We'll set that to depressurize on. So that'll fill up our oxygen tanks when we actually get oxygen tanks in here. Should be fine. Next to there. Uh, 
And on this side, we're going to put some... Rinse there. Get some air into our area. This is overkill. I am very aware of that. <laughs> but that's what I got right now. Uh, we want our top to be relatively well armored. Protect us from bombardments of some sort. I'm thinking I'm going to change this into heavy armor. I might actually go in here and change this. Start a heavy armor. Mm. You know what? I don't think we have to worry about that quite yet. We'll just keep on going with our light armor. Now, I have another project that I want to start working on as well. So we got our elevator set up and working. I want to uh, build a rocket. Uh, so I can go out into space and grab some materials I can't get down here. Like, uh, oh, I don't know, uranium, platinum, Mainly those two, uranium and platinum. I have all this open space right now. Don't know what to do with it all. And why is this a different... Oh, okay. I understand. Okay. Let's get some daytime going on here. Welcome to the morning. And this I'm just going to cut. I am going to mark it as a loss. And tear that down. Because I can make a new one at a later time. It's not needed right now. Because I'm not really salvaging right now. Goes my... the panels now this thing is active again but I've greatly reduced its range <laughs> from six kilometers down to three and a half kilometers and it's going to be targeting power systems instead of thrusters So in hopes that when it gets, when it takes down a target, the target falls and the thrusters don't get too badly destroyed. <laughs> They'll probably still get really badly destroyed though. Okay, so. Um, let us. Yeah, I'm going to put a cut in here. I'm going to do a little bit of work. Uh, I'm going to start working on a rocket of some sort um, to transport us up into space. Oh, wait. That's probably not a good idea right now because we just do not have a stable supply of water. Okay, so I need to build a scout vessel. <laughs> so I'm going to build a scout vessel. Uh, it's probably going to be pretty simple. I do not want to take Brother Mammoth off out to scout. 
uh, it will probably be using our these new engines uh, we can't actually work this or build this thing yet because we do not have the platinum required is it platinum or uranium uranium it's uranium because these require uranium for their uh, ammo yeah okay so I'm gonna build a scout vessel it's gonna be not much but a scout vessel with wings and stuff like that and I will bring you back in a moment alrighty <clears throat> we're back and I got the little ship thingy I have no idea how well it's gonna work but I got it all ready to go. You're probably wondering what this thing is. Well, actually, you're probably not wondering. You probably already know what this thing is. This is my scale template. <laughs> so that I can actually land it on my platform over here. So that's what this is. It goes two back, three forward, one to each side, and an angle. That's why I have the angle blocks there. So here we are. I am going to change the color of this to something a little more camouflage -y. Boop. Now you can't see it because it is not here. It is camouflaged. Do you see where it is? I don't see where it is. <laughs> anyway, all jesting aside, uh, don't know what colors to make this. Uh, maybe I'll just go with battered. Okay, we'll just go with clean armor okay so here is my scouting vessel uh, it doesn't have a name so if you have a name for it toss it in the comments below and I will check it out and we will name it whatever seems to be the most popular or if I like the name so this is our little scouting vessel it's got three big batteries which should give it plenty of power it's got a beacon on here and it's got an antenna I will probably get rid of one of these two things in for a uh, what's a who's it an ore detector but I'm not really concerned about ores at this moment because I have plenty uh, it's got three of these slim engines, which is equal to one big engine, as you know. It's got two of these regular sized uh, small thrusters uh, for forward propulsion, and two for rear propulsion, just kind of hiding in there. It's got three slim engines on the side, which is equal to one engine got two four slim engines on upwards which doesn't really matter because we're in gravity but that's equal to basically one engine and same with here we got slim engines on the side which is equal to one engine on the side I have no idea how well this is gonna perform so you know what Let's uh, get this thing going. First off, let's go to our batteries because I had them on recharge. And turn them to auto. Okay. Now we disconnect and up we go. Oh. Oh, I seem to be missing something. Do you have any idea what I'm missing? Because <laughs> I have no idea what I'm missing. Oh, that's not true. I know exactly what I'm missing. I'm missing a gyroscope. <laughs> uh, 
where can I put a gyroscope? I guess I could probably slot one in here. And we'll do another one over here. Gyroscopes. Psh. Nobody's got time for that. So. Oh, yeah. We got gyroscopes now. <laughs> uh, it's just grand. So, we're going to turn the antenna off. This is scout thingy. Beacon. Scout thingy. And that's off. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So, this is what we got here. I did a little bit of weird grebling at the front. I'm not entirely sure what I like about it, if I like anything about it, but it's there. Oops. So yeah, okay. Awesome. So let's, uh, this has no automation on it whatsoever. I just did not put any automation in because it is not meant for automation. Uh, maybe I'll put an event controller in to change everything when it docks, but right now, no. Not so much. I have plenty of room that I can play with so I can extend it a bit. We got our nice little cab cockpit here. I actually like this. I like the interior view of it. Pretty cool. But now that we have a gyroscope, which is overpowered, oh yeah, we could go search for ice. Now I have no idea where ice is gonna be. Um, I would have to look long and hard for that. Uh, we have approximately one hour, two hours of power. Um, it's all planes and stuff, right? So if we go this way, it does not have a lot of forward thrust. I might need to change that. There's a dragon stuff. The contouring of the wings helped with the aerodynamics, which is nice. So yeah, I'm going to go explore a bit, I'm going to go find ice, and then I will uh, bring you up to speed in the next episode. Uh, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, oh, that would be great. Uh, if you have any ideas for names for the scout thingy here, post them in the comments below. Best name wins. Um, if there's only one name and I don't like it, I will find something else. <laughs> so help me out and put more names in there. And, uh, yeah. So that's going to be it for this episode. Please, I already said that stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one. Ciao.